What if I tell you now you can get the data from search results without any web scraping? Probably you're gonna reply that this is available with ChatGPT, but if I what if I tell you better yet you can do the exact same thing via API? That will be revolutionary. OpenAI is actually planning to release the API that allows you to do a search on web results via API, but Gemini got the first place in this race. Right now, so Gemini with the latest update is able to get the data from search results and leaving you with the plate of full of data from the search results without any hassle of you trying to scrape the data from websites in your search result. So a lot of words, let me just show you what I mean. So normally you can do the exact same thing with ChatGPT, but, but with the interface, not with API. That, that doesn't allow you to use the API to get the data from search results. So let me just show you when is the next. So here's, you can see searching through and browsing through websites and trying to find the best answer to this question to my input here as you can see also giving me some resources as you can see so now we can do the exact same thing by the way how it works in the background let me just show you just search it searched on bing which is crazy so it searched on bing's and scrape the data from this website for example from this website Here's you can see time and date.com. Uh, this is the first result that shows up in the search result. And the second one is Britannia, Britannia. What is this? This one, whatever. And this one, this one, this one, this goes on. So basically just uh, get the search results and scrape the data from these websites to get the most uh, relative one, most relative answer to your uh, input. So this is not available right now with ChatGPT's API. But whenever it's uh, online, whenever it's available, that will be revolutionary in the beginning, like I said in the beginning of this video. However, now we can do the exact same thing. Not the exact same thing, but because Gemini works in a different way than ChatGPT. Yeah. ChatGPT, because let me just show you what I mean. So this is Chat Gemini, and you can find a link of this Colab notebook in the description of this video. So I will be setting up. I will be basically downloading some models and just making my environment ready for the Gemini to flash. So this is 2.0 flash experimental model. You need to get the paid API account, which is, I don't think it's that pricey. Let me just show you the uh, prices. So 13 cents per million to tokens, which is basically free kind of free so you can easily set up a Google Cloud billing account to connect these two and get your API keys from Google AI studio let me just show you two there you go this uh, this is Google AI studio you can where you can get your API keys here So now we are now defining some helpers to sh to make it look even better in this output window. Whenever I click that button here, it will be showing me some interface. I coded this interface. You can easily change it, modify it. So let me just input my own, my own prompt. I'm using the exact same prompt that I used on in ChatGPT. So now it's the function of Google search is running in the background and just browsing the websites and shows me the data. So next solar flips, blah, blah, blah. And also gives me there is uh, resources, websites. I can also ask like that. Give me. So a prompted websites, uh, give me the websites you use and there you go. Scrape the data from these websites and 